Archimedes once joked, Give me a lever long enough and a fulcrum on which to place it, and I shall move the world. Theoretically, this could work. But here's the catch. Based on the principle of the lever, we'd need a lever about 90 million light years long to move the Earth. Just to put that in perspective, that's 900 times the length of our entire Milky Way galaxy. Can you even imagine that? Who could have possibly given him such a long lever? But Archimedes wasn't the only one who toyed with the idea of manipulating the Earth. There was one man who claimed he could go a step further. He said he could split the Earth in two. Sounds impossible, right? Who would make such a bold claim? That's right, Nikola Tesla. A man of almost supernatural intelligence, Tesla was confident enough in his genius to believe that he could control the forces of nature itself. He's not as famous as some of the other great scientists, Einstein, Newton, or Edison. But the fact is that if the world had accepted Tesla's radical ideas during his lifetime, we could have lived in a future far beyond what we know today. Do you agree? It's said that he slept only two hours a day and was fluent in eight languages. Yet despite his intelligence, he died in a humble hotel room without the recognition and fame his intellect deserved. At the age of just 24, Tesla invented the world's first induction motor while working for a telephone company in 1882. Two years later, he moved to the US to work for Edison, but the partnership wasn't what Tesla hoped it would be. While Edison was impressed by Tesla's abilities, he constantly undermined Tesla's work, even refusing to pay him for solving some of his toughest problems. This lack of recognition pushed Tesla to leave and strike out on his own. Even today, people mistakenly give Edison credit for inventions like the light bulb, when in fact, many of his so-called innovations were acquired through purchasing patents. In contrast, Tesla's name has faded into the shadows of history, partly because of this strained relationship with Edison. Yet, Tesla's ideas laid the groundwork for many of the technologies we now take for granted. But let's return to Tesla's daring claim about splitting the Earth. Could there really be any truth to it? Surprisingly, yes. Tesla was fascinated by the concept of resonance. Resonance, if you're not familiar, is when an object vibrates at a certain frequency and causes massive effects, like the famous Tacoma Narrows Bridge collapse in 1940. A mild wind matched the bridge's natural frequency, causing it to twist and buckle until it finally fell apart. Tesla understood this principle deeply. In his Manhattan lab, he built mechanical vibrators to test the power of resonance. In one notorious experiment, Tesla attached a small powerful vibrator to a steel pillar. At first, nothing happened, but after a while, the vibrations grew stronger, eventually causing nearby buildings to shake, pipes to burst, and plaster to fall from walls. Realizing the danger, Tesla frantically grabbed a sledgehammer and smashed the device to stop the experiment. Tesla's experiments didn't end there. On another occasion, he attached a battery-powered vibrator, about the size of an alarm clock, to the steel frame of a building under construction. By adjusting the frequency, he set the entire structure into resonant vibration, causing the ground beneath his feet to tremble. Later, Tesla boasted that with this technology, he could shake down the Empire State Building. And as if that wasn't enough, he went further, claiming that with a large enough device, he could split the Earth in half. Tesla's belief in the destructive power of resonance was no joke. In a book titled, Tesla, The Lost Inventions, a section is devoted to what Tesla called man-made earthquakes. He theorized that by finding the right resonant frequency of the Earth's layers, mechanical vibrations could be transmitted through the ground with devastating effect. An article from July 11, 1935, in the New York American, titled Tesla's Controlled Earthquakes, described these experiments as the art of telegeodynamics. According to Tesla, the rhythmical vibrations pass through the Earth with almost no loss of energy. It becomes possible to convey mechanical effects to the greatest terrestrial distances and produce all kinds of unique effects. The invention could be used with destructive effect in war. In simple terms, Tesla believed he could harness the natural resonances of the Earth to create controlled earthquakes, a 
technology that, if pushed to the extreme, might actually be capable of tearing the planet apart. Tesla's ideas didn't stop there. According to a 1978 edition of Specula magazine, Tesla's so-called Tesla effect could generate standing waves in the Earth's crust. These waves, once established, could feed off the Earth's own immense energy, growing more powerful than the initial input and creating enormous destructive potential. Standing waves are a fascinating concept. They're the reason why opera singers can shatter glass with their voices. In Tesla's experiments, electromagnetic signals of certain frequencies were transmitted through the Earth, forming standing waves. These waves, when properly manipulated, could grow stronger and stronger as the Earth itself fed into the energy. Tesla envisioned this phenomenon as a way to direct tremendous amounts of energy toward a specific point on the globe. One of the more alarming aspects of Tesla's theory was that once these standing waves reached a certain intensity, they could theoretically tear the Earth apart. Tesla was deeply concerned about the dangers of this technology, recognizing how easily it could spiral out of control. Once the Earth began vibrating at these frequencies, it might be impossible to stop the destruction. Tesla expressed serious concerns about the use of this technology in warfare. He understood that once these vibrations were unleashed, they could have far-reaching, unpredictable consequences. Another Tesla researcher, Lieutenant Call Thomas Bearden, explained that the concept of the Tesla Magnifying Transmitter TMT, could not only cause earthquakes but also manipulate weather patterns. Bearden described the device as having the potential to change atmospheric conditions, even altering jet streams and influencing weather on a massive scale. If this all sounds like science fiction, remember that much of Tesla's work, such as alternating current, AC electricity, was once considered equally far-fetched. Today, AC powers much of the world. Tesla's theories may have been ahead of their time, but his ability to see beyond the limits of conventional science was undeniable. Of course, there are plenty of myths surrounding Tesla's experiments. One of the most famous is the theory that Tesla caused the Tunguska explosion in 1908, a massive event in Siberia that flattened 2,000 square kilometers of forest. Some believe it was the result of one of Tesla's experiments gone wrong. However, when we examine the timeline, the explosion happened three years after Tesla's project was shut down in 1905, making the theory highly unlikely. Tesla's ultimate dream wasn't to destroy the Earth. It was to understand the deeper forces of nature and harness them for the good of humanity. Though many of his boldest claims, like splitting the Earth, never came to fruition, his contributions to science and technology are undeniable. If we look back, Tesla's life is a testament to the relentless pursuit of knowledge. He pushed the boundaries of what was known and ventured into realms that most scientists were afraid to explore. In the end, Tesla's genius wasn't just in his inventions, but in his vision. A vision of a world powered by limitless energy, free from the shackles of conventional science.